Last season, I designed a touch sensor. That touch sensor was capable of saying, yes, I'm touching the ground, or no, I'm not touching the ground. And when I went to add that sensor to all four legs and add it into the firmware of the dog bot, I started thinking, is this enough? I wanted more. I wanted to know, well, how much are you touching the ground? How much weight are you putting on your left leg versus your right leg? So I decided after much thought to go with something a little more sophisticated. This is a force sensor. But let, let me give you a little bit more detail on this sensor. It's a force sensitive resistor. It was less than $6 on SparkFun. If we pull up the, the data sheet, we see that as force is applied to the resistor, it decreases resistance. And the way that you use this sensor is in a schematic similar, similar to this. What this schematic is showing us is a voltage divider. So if we assume that Z1 is the force sensitive resistor, what do we want to use as Z2? We're definitely going to want to use just a, a resistor, but what would the value of Z2 be? So if we go back to the data sheet, go down to this graph here, we see that with different resistance values for Z2, we get different behavior for our force sensitive resistor. I actually like this purple curve here, so I'm going to go with a 10K resistor. I went ahead and wired this up. We have a black wire, which is ground, a red wire, which is five volts, and a green wire, which is plugged into the analog zero pin. And we also have our 10K resistor. So to complete this circuit, we simply insert our force sensitive resistor, plug it in, we open up the Arduino development environment, and we just go to our examples, we have analog input. And we see that all this, all this sketch does is reads in the sensor value and uses that sensor value to delay the LED. At the moment, the LED looks to be solid. And the reason that is, is I'm not applying any force to this sensor. If I apply a little bit of force, it starts to blink. But that's not enough. So let's go to another sketch, the analog in serial. Now what this one does is actually prints the value that the sensor is returning. And we're getting a lot of zeros. That's because I'm not touching the sensor. But if I apply just a little bit of force, we're starting to get values. That's, that's exciting. I'm going to take this sensor with us Let's put this board over here. 